I want to start the uh, discussion tonight with just a little bit of an overview of RED development and who we are and some of our experience developing shopping centers. Uh, RED was formed in 1995. Uh, we have headquarters in Phoenix, Arizona, as well as Kansas City, Missouri. We have about 175 employees uh, of the company. Since the formation of the company, we've completed 23 projects uh, that total about 11 million square feet of retail space across 10 states. We also have an additional six projects that are under development or under construction that total about 7 million square feet. Um, and that's what we have under development right now. What I brought with me today was just a few pictures and some uh, plans for some of our projects just to give you a feel for some of the other types of projects that we develop. And what I'll do is I'll just set these up here and run through a little bit of the, uh, you know, the details on each of these. Um, and, um, first one is just a photo from one of our projects in Kansas City. This is uh, what we call 119, which is about 166,000 square feet. And just to give you kind of a um, relate that back to this project, it's about four times the size of the project that we're envisioning here. Uh, Crane Barrel is the anchor tenant. There's a site plan here uh, that shows some of the other tenants that we have there. Crate and Barrel, Sullivan Steakhouse, Apple Store, uh, Z Gallery, as well as uh, Trader Joe's, which we just signed a lease with them in the past couple months uh, for them to take op occupancy of that building. Another one that some of you may be familiar with is located at Happy Valley and I-17. Um, so as you're traveling to Phoenix on I-17, it's one of the first centers you see on your left-hand side of the road. This one is a joint venture that we have with USAA Real Estate Company. Uh, they have their corporate campus back in this area. And here we developed a center that's about 366,000 square feet has Harkins as the anchor, Dick Sporting Goods, Best Buy, P.F. Chang's, and a collection of some other pads and retail tenants throughout the project. Um, just another quick uh, visual there of some of the buildings that we developed there. Uh, one of the other projects that we have in the Phoenix area, and this is one that has been in the news recently, uh, is called Cityscape. And this is a mixed-use development um, probably one of the largest projects that's under development in the state right now. And it consists of a 600,000 square foot, 26 story office building, which is located here. You know, that office building was constructed over the last couple years and is now about 95% occupied. In addition to the office component, we have a hotel component, the Hotel Palomar, that is just commencing construction. The balance of the project is a mix of retail, restaurants, and uh, fashion tenants. We have a CVS Pharmacy, Stand Up Live, which is a comedy club, Oakville Grocery, Lucky Strike, uh, Bowling Lanes, some restaurants, Five Guys Burgers, a salon, um, Urban Outfitters and Charming Charlie's, which are some fashion tenants, as well as some other restaurants along this street. So I hope with that I've given you a, a good overview of RED and the type of projects that we develop uh, and some of our history. Happy to answer any questions on that as we go along. I did want to spend a little bit of time uh, tonight just talking about what it takes to put together a development project, uh, whether it be a large or small project. Um, the first thing that you need for that is you need to have a tenant. And we have that here in Trader Joe's. Um, they're one of the top retailers in the country. They have the highest sales per square foot of any grocery chain out there. Um, the second thing you need is you need a bank um, that's willing to finance the construction of the improvements. Um, the bank financing, as you know, has gotten a little tighter over the last few years. Um, we do have a lender that's interested in financing this project. Um, we don't think that that's going to be a problem. The difference between trying to finance one of these projects now versus three years ago is that instead of those banks funding 
80, 85% of the cost of the project. Now they're funding 50%, maybe 60% of the project. Um, and that brings me to one of the other components, which is attracting investment capital to the project. Um, to be able to get you know, an appropriate return that is going to attract that capital, um, the project needs to be structured in a way that you can do that. Um, with less bank financing available, it means you need more investment capital. And then the final thing that you need is you need a developer that can pull all of these things together, that can bring the tenant, that can get the bank financing, and can attract the investment capital. So we believe that we have the capabilities, the relationships to make all of that happen. Um, the other thing I wanted to do today is introduce um, our attorney, Gary Birnbaum. He's an attorney with the uh, law firm Ameriscal Weeks. He's also the associate dean of the uh, ASU School of Law. So before I turn it over to him, I wanted to see if there were any more questions for me.